best lighting right now in front of the window. Boys are in the bath, finishing up their bath for the night, and uh, <coughs> I want to address, uh, well, first of all, the comment of the week, and also a couple questions that have popped up because of Nolan's 14. Uh, this will be, kind of be the wrap-up uh, to that adventure up in the mountains, and uh, I, I, I think a lot of you were uh, entertained by the uh, adventure. Are you entertained? Are you? From the gladiator. Um, so, I was entertained, I had fun, but I do need to answer a couple questions because I don't feel like I fully uh, explained some of the situations that happened up there in the mountains. So, the comment of the week first goes to Dave. Dave, here you go, buddy. Um, I'll read it, I'm just gonna dive right in. Seth, I count it as a win too. And talking about Nolan's 14. Very few dare even to attempt the Nolan's Beast. It's a monumental challenge physically, logistically, navigationally, and most of all, mentally. I believe you were made for it. Learn from your mistakes and it will be yours, if you discern it, it should be. There are no failures, only learning and or sometimes things go wrong for a good reason. Touche. I agree, Dave. That may not be apparent for a long time. Ugh. Yeah, that's the hard part, right? Waiting. For an answer. I can't wait for your recap, Puma. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of becoming my uh, running protege, if I can put it that way. And I'll, I'll accept that. The Puma, uh, also known as here in Colorado, we call it the Mountain Lion. But um, I believe Jason, Padre Jason, first came up with that. Okay, so Dave asks, is there a positive correlation between finishing and the full moon? Dave, um, yes and no. The full moon did help me see some of the mountains but when you have your headlamps on doesn't help at all because all you can see is you know 20 feet in front of you 30 feet in front of you now if you turn your headlamp off which i did many times as i was trying to find the top of mount missouri um i could i could see better with the headlamps off and the moon was certainly helping so but I don't think it's critical that you have a full moon. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. It seems like it would help with navigation once your eyes adjust from my experience with being on a big lake, almost like daylight or open trail. Uh, in your vlog, you seem to be surprised by the moon, which I actually, I kind of was. I, because, oh, that's a, it's a side. Regardless, there have, there have to be some tips, tricks, research to help with night navigation, which must be very difficult, especially off trail. Epic Adventure, SJD, um, practice, 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 practice. I have run that section of Nolan's 14 before at night. I simply missed it. Now, what I should have done, I should have checked, because on the top of the 14ers, you have cell service. You have cell service. You don't in the valleys, but you do on top. I should have checked Google Maps to make sure I was on the top of Mount Missouri. I was... I don't want to say I was rushing, but I just was pretty confident I was on top. But I, it's it. It's it. It's it. You got to practice at night. Now, I'm going to jump up to a question from uh, the Daily Damien. Thank you, Damien. Uh, what would you do differently next time, Seth? Thanks for taking us along for the adventure. Oh. I would probably wear Solomon shoes the entire time, not Hoka's. Hoka's are amazing but they're not durable enough. Solomon's are so durable. They're built for that type of adventure. I would wear Solomon shoes the entire time. I would, um, I would check, you know, some of the mountains, it's so obvious you're on top. Mount Missouri, it was not obvious. So I would double check on a couple of the mountains, basically Missouri, Belford, Oxford. I would, ha I would just double check to make sure I'm on top. And thirdly, I would uh, practice more so ahead of time on that section. So if I do it again, I would start at the exact same time. That was perfect. I started at 3.30 a.m. And so that first night, um, I was only out in the dark for two and a half hours before the sun started to rise. And then if I could time it so that I get to that point almost at the exact same time. So basically, I would practice Mount Missouri, uh, Belford, Oxford, Harvard, Columbia, and Yale at night. Probably multiple times. So I was, I was, I was ahead of record pace. Not that that's the only reason I'm doing it, but it's certainly a little bit of an incentive. Yeah, capiche? 
um, I might close out the vlog actually because uh, the boys are I'm gonna put them to bed and um, thanks for tuning in and subscribing and you know all these people 512 people I wish I knew you I wish I knew you but I don't but someday maybe um, all right seek beauty work hard love each other <sighs> Don't do Nolans. But go do a 5K. Go do a 5K. See you tomorrow.